proofs that your silence is more powerful than you know. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. I truly appreciate your presence here. In today's discussion, we will delve into the reasons why your silence is more powerful than you might realize. Take a moment to reflect on this, everyone. If you find value in our content, please do not hesitate to like, subscribe, and share it with others. Let's dive into the heart of the matter. Your silence, it's an incredibly powerful tool. I have dedicated an entire series, an entire playlist, to the topic of your silence and the strength it gives you. This is not just relevant for those on the path of healing after a relationship with a narcissist, but it applies to all aspects of life. Your ability to remain silent is a power you've always possessed, perhaps you just weren't aware of its significance. During your time in a relationship with a narcissist, several things were happening simultaneously. Firstly, your voice was being stifled by the narcissist. You were made to feel voiceless. You weren't being heard. Your hopes, dreams, aspirations, and goals were all being jeopardized because the narcissist aimed to hinder your progress. They meticulously planned to ensure you couldn't achieve your objectives. In the grip of a narcissistic relationship, you were merely a shadow of your true self. You surrendered your identity to the narcissist, you became merely an extension of them, losing who you were in the process. This is not an exaggeration, as every day, individuals worldwide find themselves ensnared in such toxic relationships. And yet, there are those who manage to extricate themselves or find themselves abandoned. Spending even a single minute in a relationship with a narcissist is a minute too many. When you are silenced by a narcissist, your entire existence feels tumultuous. Everything seems confusing. You yearn to return to that initial stage of overwhelming affection, to that euphoric phase. You strive to be acknowledged. You long for a partner, someone who will stand by your side. Unfortunately, you often come to the realization that the person you trusted to support you, possibly even your spouse, was a narcissist, they were never truly there for you. Instead, they were distancing themselves from you and your needs. In your journey, you may have faced health challenges or perhaps experienced the loss of a job. During these trying times, the narcissist in your life failed to offer the support you needed. Instead, they distanced themselves, observing as your life seemed to unravel without their support. This lack of assistance impacted your growth and healing process significantly. You found yourself muted, your voice unheard. However, in the period following your relationship with the narcissist, a transformation occurs. You are no longer suppressed by the narcissist's presence, because, ideally, you have severed ties with them. This includes blocking them, deleting any connections, and distancing yourself from anyone closely linked to them, often referred to as flying monkeys. If completely cutting off is not an option, adopting a gray rock strategy is advised. This means making yourself uninteresting to the narcissist, effectively dropping off their radar. But why is your silence now more powerful than you might realize? It's because this silence is yours by choice. You are not being forced into silence by the narcissist. Instead, you are choosing to be silent, to observe, and to reflect. After the relationship with the narcissist, you are faced with a path of healing. This involves slowing down, processing the past relationship, and educating yourself about narcissism, including its patterns and cycles of abuse. Mastering your silence during this period is a form of empowerment. It's not about the narcissist's manipulative silent treatment or their attempts to silence you, it's about recognizing the strength in your chosen silence. Going no contact with the narcissist is a powerful statement. It signifies that you have broken free from the trauma bond and are stepping out of the fog that the narcissist created around you. You are establishing boundaries, seeing through the facade, and understanding the reality of the relationship you were entangled in, a relationship that was manipulative and unlike anything you've experienced before. The narcissist's arsenal was filled with manipulation tactics, deceit, gaslighting, stonewalling, silent treatments, triangulation, and emotional outbursts. They projected their negativity onto you, mirroring what you hoped to see in them, only to entrap you during the initial, euphoric stage of the relationship. You were captivated by the mask they presented, not knowing the reality that lay beneath. 
the responsibility wasn't yours to bear. In our educational system, there's no curriculum that prepares us to recognize and navigate relationships with toxic individuals. You likely entered the relationship without a clear set of boundaries, often sharing more than what was necessary. This openness, while natural in the context of what you believed was a loving and stable relationship, left you vulnerable to manipulation. In the beginning, and for a considerable duration of the relationship, the narcissist played a central role in your life. You found yourself in various roles, the constant supporter, the perpetual apologizer, the unwavering servant all under the mistaken belief that you were fostering a healthy and loving partnership. However, the reality was starkly different from this belief. Your days were characterized by an imbalance of give and take, with the narcissist readily exploiting your generosity. They were conspicuously absent during moments that mattered deeply to you, be it personal celebrations or significant milestones. Around them, you were perpetually cautious, navigating your interactions with the utmost care to avoid conflict. Despite being physically close, an overwhelming sense of loneliness enveloped you, a loneliness that starkly contrasts the solitude you experience now, after your journey of healing. The clarity you've gained post-relationship has empowered you with the knowledge of what behaviors you will accept and those you will not. You've learned to prioritize your own growth and well-being a stark departure from the state of confusion and mere existence that once defined your life. This transformation began when you recognized the disparity between the narcissist's mask and their true self. Initially, you responded to their silence with more effort to communicate, not understanding the manipulative intent behind their silent treatment. This cycle of manipulation and your response to it marked a significant phase in the relationship, leading you eventually to seek a path to recovery and self-discovery. Feeling bewildered and uncomfortable, you couldn't grasp why you were being subjected to such emotional torment. The narcissist observed every detail about you, from your discomfort to the way you held yourself, while they inflicted emotional abuse. The silent treatment, a tactic often used by children when they don't get their way, becomes a weapon in the narcissist's adult arsenal. They use it to withhold attention and punish their partners or those they wish to control. This behavior is just one facet of the manipulative cycle. However, as you come to understand the nature of narcissism and its impact on your life, you realize the power of your own silence. There's no need to justify yourself to others. Attempting to explain your experiences with the narcissist to those who haven't been through similar situations often leads to misunderstandings. Your efforts to convey what you've been through might lead to strained relationships with family, friends, and colleagues who simply can't grasp the complexity of your situation. They may even mistakenly believe that you are the problem. However, the issue doesn't lie with you. You were searching for someone who could offer support, someone willing to listen and help process your thoughts. While some may have tried to be there for you, their patience and understanding were finite. To them, your experiences were as alien as a spacecraft landing on Earth for the first time. Their inability to comprehend isn't their fault, they either haven't experienced such a relationship themselves, or they may be narcissists. The word yet is crucial, because anyone can find themselves in a narcissistic relationship. Now that you are on the path to recovery, you possess a unique set of skills that many lack and can only acquire through similar experiences. These skills include recognizing the power of your silence. Whether you choose to engage with someone or maintain your distance, your silence sends a powerful message. For instance, after you have moved on from a relationship, imagine receiving a text from a friend that doesn't quite resonate with you or seem worthy of a response. Before encountering the narcissist, you might have felt compelled to reply, perhaps with a polite, oh, that's so funny, even if you didn't genuinely find it amusing. However, you no longer feel that obligation. You've learned to evaluate whether a message truly merits a reply. If it doesn't, you simply choose not to respond, without any guilt or pressure to engage just because someone reached out to you. This shift signifies a deeper transformation within you. In this new phase of your life, the focus is on self-preservation and enrichment. You no longer deplete your resources, be it time, attention, or emotional energy, on individuals who seek to exploit or drain you. Responding to messages out of a sense of duty, especially from those who sap your energy, 
is no longer a practice you subscribe to. Your priority is your own well-being, peace, and the abundant joys of life, joys that the narcissist aimed to obscure from you. I emphasized at the beginning that your silence is more powerful than you might have realized. This newfound understanding allows you to discern what warrants your attention and what doesn't. Matters involving the narcissist, or anyone displaying similar traits post-relationship, certainly do not merit your response. Should you encounter someone new, whether in your local community, at work, or within a hobby group, and intuition signals a potential for toxicity, heed that warning. There's no need to engage, explain yourself, or share personal contact details. Adopting a gray rock approach means you recognize their presence in your environment, but refuse to be a source of emotional sustenance or support for them. Without explicitly explaining yourself, you've learned to gracefully distance yourself, to minimize your presence, and to communicate through your positive energy that you have no desire to engage with certain individuals. This approach may seem straightforward now, but it required a significant amount of time and personal growth to master. You've acquired valuable tools for navigating life, tools the narcissist hoped you would never discover. You've indeed discovered these tools and are actively sharing your knowledge within the community, contributing to a cycle of support and understanding. However, it's crucial to remember that you can only extend this help once you've sufficiently cared for yourself. Your well-being is paramount, holding the top three priorities in your life. This marks a stark contrast to the times during your relationship with the narcissist, where your needs and desires were consistently overlooked, as you prioritized the narcissist's demands to your own detriment. Back then, you weren't silent by choice, you were forced into silence, a significant distinction. This realization underscores the importance of self-care and self-prioritization. Acknowledging that you don't owe anything to anyone except for a life of abundance and happiness for yourself is a powerful insight. It's a lesson learned through the challenging process of losing and rediscovering yourself. Now, on the brink of embracing a new version of yourself, you recognize the value of slowing down, conserving energy, and reserving your words for those who truly matter. The goal is not to dominate conversations or seek attention through loudness, but to find peace and strength within yourself. Your silence is more powerful than you might initially believe. It serves as a superpower, guiding you to express yourself thoughtfully and positively. You've learned to control your emotions and not allow trivial matters to disturb your peace. This level of self-control and understanding elevates your interactions and ensures that when you do speak, your words carry meaningful weight. My journey involved confronting and healing wounds from my childhood, immersing myself in videos for learning, engaging in journaling, reading extensively, practicing meditation, and striving to improve my health in all aspects, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and financial. I've committed to this path of self-improvement daily, and I encourage you to embark on a similar journey. Despite the attempts of narcissists to derail us, their efforts are futile now. Armed with newfound wisdom and practical tools, and recognizing the powerful silence within us, we're now fortified against any narcissist, past or future. Silence truly is a superpower. It allows us to choose not to engage in situations that don't align with our values. For instance, imagine you're at a social gathering and someone makes a distasteful joke. There's no obligation for you to laugh or participate in that moment. I've always chosen to distance myself from such situations, and it's a choice that you can make too. It's about not succumbing to the herd mentality, but standing firm in your beliefs against narcissism, and most importantly, for yourself. If not now, when? I hope this message resonates with you. Remember, you're not navigating this journey alone. My best wishes to all of you. I cherish our community here and I'm looking forward to our continued conversations. Before we part ways, if you found value in this video, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Your engagement helps spread our message of hope and empowerment. God bless you all, I love you, and I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye for now.